Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Angry Gomorrah. And I'm going to give you Radiant Leeches 3 this afternoon. Anyway, just Gomi looks so angry when he's about to fight. Or looks, like, demonically happy. He's not sure which. But, anyway, we are in the heart of the Sunwell right now. Sunwell Plateau. And there are awesome pets that drop in here. Well, one particularly awesome pet. Now, this guy right here, the Sunblade Micro Defender, he sells relatively inexpensive on the auction house, or you can just farm to pick him up. He drops from Brutalis, which is the uh, pit lord who is in this raid. And he comes in a variety of different breeds. I actually like the HS breed more than the HP breed, uh, because I use this guy for, uh, I think her name is Gargra. She is the Draenor Tamer. Um... The first one that you fight in Frostfire Ridge. And this guy can almost kill the entire team, which is awesome. And then I just have a second pet that's got Explode, and it allows me to carry level 1 pets through it. So I really like picking up this pet, and for that particular fight, I like the HS breed. Um, there also could be an argument made for the HP breed. It's got exactly the same stat-wise, but it has... Uh, 289 attack rather than 260 so it's a cool little pet and one that I would definitely add to your collection now the chaos pup this guy is actually kind of interesting okay so he's a magic type pet that has beast type moves a humanoid type move and undead type moves and he has nether gate now there's a few pets in the game that have nether gate the fiendish imp uses it best just because it's got that SS breed which means you can switch in or switch out your other pet your opponent's pet really easily um, but I've seen this guy actually do some work a couple times and you know he's taken me by surprise so yeah he's definitely somebody worth checking out uh, and then the last one is the wretched servant who's kind of a garbage pet I mean he's a humanoid with uh, magic type attacks so he could be useful in some fights but Overall, he's a balanced, balanced breed, and he's just not really all that special. So, those will do it for the three pets that are in here. Also, when you finish raiding with Leashes 3, you get uh, Ka'oot. Or, I'm not exactly sure how to say that. But, he's a really cool vanity pet. I always have him out on my priest, on my holy priest, just because it adds to the whole RP element. So, that'll do it for the Sunwell. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now in Black Temple, and there's a handful of pets in here, and some of them are actually pretty awesome. So for a long time, the Fragment of Anger was just really, 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 really prevalent in PvP, and I hated going against him. He was super annoying. He would either go Spitfire Beam and uh, Soul Rush, and then he judged, or like his basic attack was either between some of those. So sometimes they'd go in Rage and Soul Rush, which is such a hard hitting attack where, you know, they would do almost 900 damage with the soul rush. So yeah, that was a pain in the butt. <laughs> anyway, he drops from the multi-face person in this raid. Here, hold on a second. What's his name? Map. He drops from the reliquary of souls, drops these three pets here. And the Fragment of Anger you could still probably sell in the auction house for a good little chunk of gold. But there's also the Levi Leviathan Egg, which drops the uh, Leviathan Hatchling. I would recommend picking up the Health Power Breed. I have the Power Balance Breed, but I haven't farmed for him a lot. He's not a pet that I use a ton, uh, just to add to your collection. Um, next is Fragment of Suffering and Fragment of Desire. Now what makes the Fragment of Desire kind of cool is Reflective Shield. <clears throat> there's not a ton of pets in the game that have it uh it just makes it so that the user shields itself deal 50 percent of the damage they take to the attacker so that also works if you get hit by like a really heavy attack that will reflect 50 percent of that damage so it's less awe-inspiring when you're getting hit by like let's say flank or fury you know one of those multi-turn small attacks but it's really impressive if you can use it to stop like a soul rush or a conflagrate, something big like that. The other pet, the other two pets in here are the Abyssal, who only comes in a power power breed. Uh, 
He's a very cool looking pet. Um, I don't really use him a lot in PvE or PvP, but definitely somebody you want to add to your collection. And then the Sister of Temptation. Now, with humanoids in general, I like to go health max out the health just because their Rachel is they respawn uh, 2% or 4% of their health every turn. So I like the health balance breed best out of this particular pet. Um, and she's got all these undead moves, which is pretty cool just because there's not a lot of humanoids like humanoids that are strong versus humanoids. You know, there's not a ton and two of them, you know, are promotional pets which I will never own, unfortunately. You know, I really wish I had bought those virtual BlizzCon tickets. But, yeah, Sister of Temptation. Definitely when it comes to killing other humans, she's who you'd want. And that wraps up all the pets for Black Temple. Alright, our Raiding with Leeches 3 has finally taken us to the feet of Archimond. And I am in the old Hyjal raid, and there are a few pets to drop here. H Y J A L L. No, one L. Okay. So, the pens that drop here uh, I've got Robert, who's the High Jaw Wisp. I don't know why I named him after my older brother, but I did. Then we have Stinkrot, and we have the Grotesque Gargoyle. Um, now, what's cool about these pens is the High Jaw Wisp here is a very, very, very good tier one pet. Okay? He is a very fast breed. He's an SS breed. He is outsped by the um, Wicked Soul and the Fiendish Imp, but other any other pet that's not one of those two pets or a flying type pet will be outsped by this guy. Now what makes him so great is he's got a dodge, and being a fast pet with dodge is fantastic because it means you can dodge for two rounds, and he has Wish. And Wish is considered to be the strongest heal in the game because it heals you for 50% of your max health. Now what's cool about this is you can cast Wish on this guy and he can be at full health. And you can switch into another pet that is low health and you'll be able to heal that, health, that pet for 50% of its health. So it's not just 50% of your Wisp's health, but it's 50% of whatever pet that you have in your front slot when that Wish goes off. Because you activate it and then it's the next round that it goes for the big heal. Now, the Grotesque Gargoyle here, he's nothing really all that special, and neither are Stinkrot. Like, Stinkrot here, he does have Digest Brains, which is, uh, you get 463 health back, which is a very, very big heal. And he has a pretty hard-hitting Infected Claw, as well as Disease Bite. I think I would, yeah, I would choose uh, infected claw on this guy over disease bite because it hits on the higher end. It's got, but it does hit a little bit on the lower end, but not by much. Yeah, I would definitely go for infected claw over disease bite, and then blood plague to increase your healing. You know this guy actually might be a decent. I have not used him in PvP, but I'd be willing to try him out here because this just this right side is a really solid setup, and would do fairly well versus just about anybody except aquatics. So, those are the best pets. Well, these are actually all the pets in Raiding with Leashes 3. But, ones that I would definitely recommend picking up is the High Jaw Wisp. You know what? Give Stinkrot a try. I was a little skeptical about him, but just looking over his moveset right there, he could have some decent survivability. And, yeah, that'll do it. If there's any pets in this list I did not cover or did not give enough information about make sure to let me know in the comment section below and i hope you have a fantastic day i'm gonna kill archimon see if he gives me another high jaw wisp